All right, so we're still on the uh, 1990 302 5.0 Mustang here. And on the driver's side, this is where you find that solenoid switch. You're going to pull this um, wire off here. Oh, and make sure you unhook the battery as well. Because I'm pretty sure this guy holds a little bit of a charge, and you don't want to get shocked. And you're going to loosen this nut here. And, of course, I pre-loosened them already. You're going to loosen this one here as well. And then you're going to take this one off here. The one off right here, right there, and you're gonna put these wires back on the same on the same way they came off. Okay, and here is um, our new switch here, and we're just gonna put the uh, the terminals back on the same exact way before I actually take this off the firewall. That way we don't get anything crossed up. That way it'll line up the way it's supposed to. And our switch also came with new hardware, so we're going to use the new hardware with the uh, the new switch. I'll get that, but make sure you put the uh, washers on first before you put the actual uh, terminal connectors on. That way, you get a good connection. Okay, so everything is on the new switch here. So we're just going to remove these uh, two bolts here off the firewall, um, reattach this to the firewall, and tighten these nuts down up here, and reattach our, uh, our little cap wire on the top, and we'll give it a try. All right, so the new switch is attached. We uh, hooked the battery back up. We could probably do with the new battery uh, cable too. Well, let's go see if it'll fire up. All right, we're back in the car. Key ignition. Fuel pump's kicking on. There we go. So that's what it was. So eight bucks got us fixed. All right, hope you uh, enjoyed the video and hope you guys got some tips off of it.